Hello and welcome back to Digital Shading Techniques number three. Here we are at Click Here Game. So we're going to drag our digital worksheet over here as a new image. And bingo, there we have it. Now over here in the Layers tab, just a quick side note, did you know that in 1994 it was the first time that layers appeared in the digital world when Photoshop 3 was released? This changed and revolutionized the whole way we do editing and manipulate digital photography and computer art. That's quite impressive. We're going to be working on two techniques today, the blur technique and the brush technique. So first we're going to do these three brush uh, blur techniques. So here you go. First, we're going to make a new layer. We're going to put this layer below our worksheet. We're going to go to brush. And here it's important to have our brush size at 30, opacity 100. Over here we have a grayscale, and we're going to be using this quite a lot to pick our grays that we need. So first, we're going to click out. That's how we choose our black quickly. And we're going to use a technique, which is click, shift, click. All right. And we're going to do the same over here. Click, shift, click. And then we're going to get 80% black. Click, shift, click. Over here to click, shift, click. 50% black. Click, shift, click. Click, shift. 20% black, click, shift, click, click, shift, click, and now we get our white, click, shift, click, click, shift, click. Now before we apply the blur tool, it's important that what we've done has to go very far outside. So just to see, we're going to bring this layer to zero, go back into brushes, and we're going to make sure we expand this quite a bit outside. This is quite important. If you make little mistakes, don't worry, they're going to blur out. And we'll expand these. The black, besides expanding it to the sides, also bring it all the way around here. Do the same over here on both sides. Right, you're going to see what I'm talking about. This step is quite essential. When we are using the blur tool. And we are done. So if we go back to the layers and we bring this, obviously we're not going to see what we've done, but have a look at this. Here we go to edit, triangle blur. We're going to put the radius at 40. There we go. Click OK. And bingo, look at that, just like above, nice and easy. Just to get this part fixed, all we need to do is go to brush. Here we pick up the eraser. And all we need to do is erase this part here. I'm going to make this transparent background. There we go. And it's now all clean. Bingo, you've done the first one. Right, so to do number two, we go here to layers, we make a new layer, we go to brush, here we're going to be in our normal brush again, and we are going to use here our grayscale, we're going to start with black, we're going to do here, click, right, click, click, right, click, and then 80%, you really got the hang of this, then 50%, And 20%, and then pure white. Now remember, just like the other one, we're going to go back and take away our there. And now we're going to make these bigger. This is important so when we blur, we don't get any transparency. Okay, now 50%, our 80%, and pure black, 100%. Okay, don't worry if it's a little bit messy because we're going to blur it all. Okay, we're going to put our worksheet visible again. 
There you go. Now here we're going to go to Edit. We're going to go Triangle Blur, and we're going to give it the radius of 60. Click OK. There we go. Nice. Next, we add on another layer. Again, here we go to our brush. And now we're going to start with black on this side. So click, drag, click, click, shift, click. Our 80%. So as you can see, we're going opposite of the, uh, the uh, graduation. and our pure white. Again, we're going to go to the layers. Our worksheet we're going to put to zero. So here on layer four, we are going to go this on. As you can see, it has to expand and you get a lot of here, the transparency through. So we're going to make this big. There we go, 20%, our 50%, our 80%, and our pure black. Fantastic. And certainly you know, we're going to put again our worksheet to 100. We're going to go to edit triangular uh, blur and again we're going to do this to 60 and click OK. Now here we're working on this top layer which is key. We're going to go to our brushes but now we're going to pick the eraser. The eraser is going to be 50 the size and the opacity is going to be 95. We're going to click here on the corner just like that click and then we're going to go shift click and we're going to take away this area and look at that, that looks amazing. You clean out here the sides. We have to go to the other layer to take away what we can see there, which is layer three here. Okay. And just to bring it all together, we're gonna to bring layer four, we're gonna merge it into layer three. This is the merge button, okay? And we're going to source over as it is. Bingo. Fantastic. Now we're going to move to the last one, the blur technique. So we're going to make again a new layer. We're going to go here to the brushes. We're going to use a normal brush. So size 30, opacity 100. We are going to go on our pure black. Sorry, this is the one, about that much, 80%, our 50% is going to be a big one, 50% is going to go down here diagonally, okay, our 20%, and our pure white. Again, as this is the blur technique, we're going to go to our worksheet layer, bring it down, and here we're going to expand all of these because we're going to blur it, and we want to make this look very good with no problems. So here, our 20% gray. Our 50% gray, black. 80% black and our 100% pure black. Okay, we're going to bring up this layer again. We're going to go here to edit, triangle blur, but now instead of 60, we're going to use 70. There we go. Click OK. Whoa, that looks really cool. Now from there, we're going to go to brush. We're going to pick up the eraser, but here the eraser, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the size to 200. There we go, opacity to 100, and we're going to put it here dead center of the square. Bingo. There we go. 
So now we have here another layer on the bottom, which is empty, which I'd made before. Again, we're going to go to our brush. We're going to paint with a normal brush. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my brush, yeah, 30 should be fine. So with, I'm going to start with pure white. And I want to do this kind of shape, kind of like a V. Okay, one moment, just going down side. I'm going to pick up my 20. And I'm going to go kind of like an L shape. I'm going to pick up my 50. There we go. Make it a bit bigger here. My 80. And I'm leaving a space for my 100% black. Again, we're going to go to the layers. I'm going to bring this one down. I'm going to be working here with my brush. I'm going to expand this white. I'm going to expand the gray. 20%. I'm going to expand the 50%. I'm going to expand 80%. And I'm going to expand the black. I'm going to fill here. Okay, very good. Right now I'm going to go to Edit, Triangle Blur. I'm going to use 70, just on the last one as the background there. Click OK. Go to Layers. Now I bring this one to 100%. And look at that. On this one, I just pick up some brush. I go here to my eraser. I want to make it again a bit more smaller. Around about here. That should be fine. And I'm going to take away all of these extra pieces that are floating here around, which I needed. Oops. I went wrong. Just undo. It's fine. Here. And now I need to clean up this layer too. And this one. Now, if I bring up all my layers, oh, here we can still see some things lying around. This must be layer five. Yes. And there we go. We have copies now of the three different blur techniques. And here we have them on the bottom. And this is our layer sequence. On so this layer, we can just bring it down. So there we go. And that's so layer one. This layer two is the first one we did here. Layer three, the second one. And layer four. You've done a fantastic job. Good. Okay, now we're going to move to the brush technique. So here we're going to make a new layer. We're going to go to brushes. But now we're going to change the brush that we're using. We were normal, using the normal brush that was here. And now we're going to use the blend brush. So the blend blush brush we're going to bring to 30. We're going to put opacity to 100 and blending to zero, so 30. Right. Again, so I'm using Alt to choose them. I'm gonna start with the black, click, drag, click, take away the pressure. And again, click, drag, click, now the 80. Click, shift, click, click, shift, click, 50, click, shift, click, click, shift, click, 20, click, shift, whoops, undo, okay, so click, shift, click, click, shift, click, and we're going to fill up with white in the center, and this is going to help us to bring it all together. Now we are going to use a slightly bigger brush, just very slightly. We're going to put this up to about 40. And we can do the same technique. So 40 here, 40, and then here we are past is going to be zero and blending to 100. And we do the same thing. So click, shift, click, click, shift, click, click, shift, click. Okay, so the idea here is that we start blending these together. Okay, we're going to do this on both sides, obviously, to make it look like just above. It takes a bit of time, a bit of patience, and this is quite achievable. Okay, I'm not going to finish this right now. I want to finish demonstrating what we need to do. The next one over here is pretty similar to what we did up here. 
um, the same idea where we're going to do first this layer and then the other layer and then we're going to take it out and this is what we get. So I'm just going to do this layer because we've done this same instructions. So again here, a new layer, brush, I'm going to use my blending brush and it's going to be on this one I'm going to use 60, opacity 100, blending to there. I'm going to start with 100% black, click shift click, 80%. Now this is a nice technique by picking up my grays bit by bit. This is why I got the grayscale above there to help you. I like it because it's just a nice clean system to get you these beautiful graduations which look lovely. Now my white. Right, now I'm going to change this the other way around. Keep it there at 60. Bring this up to 100. Okay. And the same. Click, shift, click. You see, even though you've left there just a little space, it's not big because we're gonna, it's going to be mixed in. Okay, our key mixture is going to be on this part because we're going to have this part visible, just like here. So I'm going to focus my work on this part. I'm going to do this nicely. Obviously, you're going to do the same thing too. There we go. Now I make a new layer. Again, brush. But now I do the opposite. So again, bring up capacity 100, blending to zero. I'm going to start here with 100% black. Click shift. Go my 80%. Click shift, click. 50. 20. And then our white. go. Now bring this one down, bring this one up. Oh, that should be there very close. So now I want to pick up my razor. I'm going to be working on this one. I'm going to put it here to about 50. And I'm just going to put this on 95 so it doesn't have that jagged edges when I raise. Just a little bit of 95, looks nice. So watch, I'm going to click here, shift, click. And there we go, okay? I'll see, make sure they look better than this, look like here and above. Now this one again, it's going to be very similar to the technique as we did over here. So, there we go, a new layer. And then this one, we're going to get our black to start. I'm going to be working here with my blending brush, opacity 100. There you go, around about size 60 approximately. And I'm going to add the black over here. I'm going to get my 80%. I'm going to get my 50%. I'm going to get my 20%. Now my white. Very good. And then again, bring down the opacity and bring up the blending. And here it's nice when you go from the white. I like mixing these two first. And I go from light to dark, blending them in. That's the main idea. And as you can see, this is it's getting there. Okay, you're gonna do this nicely. I'm quite sure. Now, again, we're going to go to our eraser. And to raise this one, what we're going to do is that we're going to put our eraser size here at 200, like we did last time. So we go 200, opacity 100, right here in the dead center, and bingo. Then make a new layer. Oh, I can't make this one. I'm going to bring that one down. Okay. So here, I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to put it under it. Brush. Again, to my blending brush. But here, to do the circle, I'm going to bring it down to about 30. Opacity 100. Blending to zero. I'm going to start with the white. And again, I'm going to kind of have a you know, shine about up to there. 
I'm going to bring in my 20. I want to bring it in round about there. Bring my 50. There we go, my 80. And to finish off my 100% black. Okay. Right. Now, swap it, bring down my passkey to zero, blending to 100. Now, this is the idea where we have to work with a bit more patience. And we're going to get the same as just above here. And we're going to go blending this just nicely and very carefully. Okay. Now, what the cool thing is when we do this with the brush, we have a lot more control where we put in the light and the shades. That would be the main idea. So you're going to work on this. You're going to make this look nice and good because I know you can do it. You've got to be patient, just like any good artist. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Well, it's still a bit bumpy. You can smudge it out it's very carefully going there bit by bit to get it just looking as even as possible. Now you see all these things left around you. That's not a problem. All I have to do is kind of pick my razor, you know, just not too big. And I'm going to go clean this up. That's wrong. The wrong layer. It's this one. And over here, I can start cleaning this up. This side too. How can we keep things neat? As you've noticed, you have two boxes over here. What I would like you to do is to do your own one over here. Whatever you wish, whatever you think you can do using the blur technique, do something interesting. The idea is to push your creativity to the next level. And over here, using the brush technique. Okay? And don't forget, when you're done, all you need to do is click the button Save. And there we go. Bingo. All is done. Thank you very much. And good luck with digital shading exercises number three. Goodbye.